Hi guys, I'm Gabby and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here and if you're returning, thank you so much and welcome back. In today's video, I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick, kind of give you an update and give you a word of encouragement as well if I can. So update on baby girl. For those of you who have been following my channel, you are well aware that I petitioned recently for my stepdaughter's immigrant visa and she was approved and she moved to the United States April 1st of this year, 2024. So it's been officially like two months since she's been here. It feels like longer than that. She's adjusting well. Um, my stepdaughter is from Ghana, for those of you who are new. I petitioned for her back in August of 2021. Was it 2021? Yeah, 2021. It took us a couple of years to get her here, but we did it on our own and we were successful. Previously, I had petitioned for my husband. He's also from Ghana, of course, and I petitioned for him back in 2018. He was approved in 2019 and subsequently moved to the U.S. that summer, June of 2019 and he's been here for oh how long has he been here since 2019 do the math i'm not great with math and he's since become a u.s citizen it's because he was a spouse of a u.s citizen he only had to wait three years to apply for his citizenship normally um outside of um spouses of u.s citizens you have to wait five years before you can apply for citizenship as a legal permanent resident of the United States. So like I said, he applied in 2022, I believe, for his citizenship and was approved. So basically on my channel, I just share with you our immigration story, how we did it ourselves, and just what we learned along the way. I'm no way a lawyer, immigration lawyer, or expert, or any of those things. I'm just simply sharing my story in hopes that what I share can be beneficial to others. You can apply the same steps or action plans that I did and hopefully it can help you as well. And then recently I've been sharing some vlogs, just giving you a little peek into our life. Nothing major child. We just regular people like you <laughs> do the regular things, but I share that as well. So I feel like I'm rambling. So let me try to get back on point. So yeah, so my stepdaughter is here. She's adjusting well. Actually, she's in summer camp as we speak and she's loving it. Summer camp, she's enjoying it. But yeah, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about when it comes to giving you, um, what's the word? I want to motivate you guys to let you know that you can do this process yourself. There's nothing special about me or anybody else who's going through this immigration process and who are successful there just like you. If I can do it, if they can do it, you can do it as well. You just have, to, it starts with mentality. It starts with knowing that this is something that you want to get done. Um, that's the first step. Just know that you can do it going with a positive mindset because if you go in with a negative mindset, you're going to get additional hurdles and issues that we just want to avoid. Okay, so let's start with a positive mindset. Secondly, there are resources all over the internet. I'm always hooting and ranting and hollering about visajourney.com. I'll put it on the screen here. That was my Bible for the immigration process, for my DIY immigration process. I'm always talking about it. I don't know if any of you have visited visajourney.com. If you have, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I highly suggest you visit that website if you are going through the um, immigration process. It is a plethora of resources on there. There are forums of people talking about their situations, asking questions. You can ask questions. Um, you don't even have to create an account to look around at what they have. It's an open site. So you could just go there, go straight to the forums, look at the information. I didn't talk a lot on these websites. I was just there in the background. Like some of y'all do with my videos. Y'all aren't subscribed. Y'all just sitting here watching. <laughs> that was me on visajourney.com. Quick little plug. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Just click that red subscribe button. It is free 99. Doesn't cost you a thing. All right. So I will be on there like... I'm OCD, so I have obsessive compulsive disorder. So when I get my mind on something, something that I'm interested in, I obsess over it. And I think that is something that kind of made me successful. I was like, 
I gotta get this done and I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna find out all the information, okay? When I initially did this process with my husband, every day I was on that website. I would go to work and when I got home from work, I was sitting on my couch on these agenda.com scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on those forums. They have guides on how to fill out the different forms, a place for embassies, the different embassies that we have in different countries. They have forms there where people share their story of how their immigration process is, what they know about the embassy. There are country specific forms. So say you're from Jamaica, there's a forum for Jamaica where you can go there and talk to people who are going through the process or who have been through the process. There are a lot of veterans on VisaDream.com that stayed around, even though they have completed their process, maybe a few years or even more, they're still there giving guidance and answering questions of people, of the newbies, of new people who are going through the process. So it is, like I said, it is so much information there that I suggest y'all go check it out. So I, like I said, I will be on there every day. I will be going through the forums, looking at what people are saying, any tips or issues or things you should know about submitting your forms, about the interview process, about things of specific embassies, their dues or likes. There was a forum, I was on Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, something like that forum. And for, at that time, back in 2018, the Ghana embassy was notorious for denying visas, okay? There, there was some officers there that they would talk about in the forums. There was a lady there that people did not like because she was, she was a mess. <laughs> she was the die people love her, right? They were like, ooh, do not go to her. She's not friendly. She's rude. I think that she since left. But you know, just having those, that little bit of information can prepare you. Yeah, it's kind of like having a friend that's already going through the process and you can kind of like piggyback, talk to them and get suggestions and get help on the process. So I highly suggest you visit that website. That was my Bible, like I said. So I still kind of visit it for my stepdaughter, not as much as I was when I was with my husband. They really trained me well, they really helped me out. So I kind of had that guidance already in my brain, but I still kind of went there here and there. So I would highly suggest you guys check them out. Like I said, there's stuff online. You can always Google, Google is your friend. Kind of be careful of what you're getting your information for. Though. Still, you still have to kind of weed out and take some things with a grain of salt. There's different immigration attorneys that have FAQs on their website when it comes to the immigration process. Visit those websites. You can always go have a consultation with the immigrant lawyers to kind of like pick their brain to see what they think about your case. It's so many things that you can, out of the box things that you can do to help you with your process. Don't feel like you're alone because there are resources out there. So sometimes you gotta, gotta kind of think outside of the box, you know. I definitely um, had a consultation with a lawyer when I first was starting to do it for my husband spoke with her, kind of went over the process and she was giving me my options and stuff like that. So, you know, if you want to do that, do that as well. I always say this, if you feel like, hey, I feel much more secure with an immigration attorney, by all means, use their resources, but please make sure that you are interviewing these immigration attorneys. Don't just pick anybody, make sure that they are the right fit for you and your family. It's no different than a job interview. You want to sit with them and see if y'all mesh, see their experience because all attorneys are not the same, okay? Their experience, if they are, if they worked on cases similar to yours, not just because they're immigration attorney, they might be an immigration attorney for employment visas. Maybe they only specialize in employment visas and that's all they do all day long. And you're doing a family-based petition they may be an immigration attorney, but you might want to think, you might want to think a little bit more about if you want to hire that person. You need to probably seek out somebody who's done um, visa family based petitions so they are familiar with how to handle your case. So keep all those things in mind. So, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to come share that information with y'all. Not much, not much, but basically just to show my face as well. So I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the next video. Bye, take care.